Hey Red Wing fans, I'm Ken Cal. Welcome to Coffee Talk, brought to you by Tim Hortons. And I'm proud to be with Red Wing goaltender Jimmy Howard. Jimmy, how do you feel about being the first guest on Coffee Talk? It's such an honor and privilege. I can't believe you chose me. <laughs> Out of all the guys, you know, it's this one, you know, it ranks up there in my career. And you and I were talking before we went on the air here that uh, you were drafted in Nashville. How was that experience for you? It was a lot of fun. I actually got booed. It was, uh, <laughs> you got booed? Yeah, I got booed. It was, uh, I'll never forget uh, my name getting picked by the Red Wings and then uh, all the Nashville fans booing me and then, uh, you know, walking down there and some lady goes, it sucks to be you. And I'm thinking, yeah, okay. <laughs> Just got picked by the Detroit Red Wings. I don't think it can get any better. What about Nashville? I mean, a lot of players enjoy going to Nashville and hanging out in the city. It's a, it's a pretty good city, isn't it? It is. It's awesome. It's just too bad whenever we go there, I always have to play. So I'm like a little puppy dog <laughs> looking <laughs> out the window. And you see all the bright lights and everything like that. You want to be down there, but, uh, you know, I got to deadbolt the door. You can't, can't really myself. enjoy yourself. Lock, no, I got to lock myself in. <laughs> Now, are you into country music? Because, I love country music. Because every place there is live country music. It is, and that's why I, that's why I love it. Uh, you know, whenever we get a chance to, you know, go for lunch or anything like that, I always, you know, try to go somewhere that has live country music. Do you have any favorite bands, country bands, or favorite singers? Five uh, tons. Uh, Tim McGraw, Kenny Chesney, uh, Luke Bryan, Jason Aldean, you, you name them. You know, I, I enjoy country music. Actually, you know, growing up in the country, so. Why. Any movies that come to mind? A lot of people like movies. A lot of players, when they go on the road, they like to go to the show. And anything come to mind? No, I'm Have more of a, to be honest with you, I'm more of a guy that just stays in and, uh, you know, catches up on shows. You know, I like Sons of Anarchy, Revenge, uh, you know, Homeland. Uh, so shows like that. Or, you know, I'm a big Netflix guy, too. Love, uh, you know, sitting down and uh, watching Netflix as well. What's your all-time favorite movie? Oh, all-time favorite? Uh, you know, there's a lot of them, but I have to go with Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. I mean, I can watch it. I can watch it over and over again and still laugh at every single part of it. Do you remember a part that really comes to mind that you just crack up? Uh, yeah, when Lloyd comes, uh, you know, down the highway in a little scooter. <laughs> he almost wakes out. <laughs> well, you got two kids, right? And, and they mean a lot to you. No, they definitely do. Uh, you know, James and Henry mean the world to me. So, uh, you know, it's always fun uh, to be able to spend some time. You know, when we do get downtime, you know, it doesn't seem like we ever get it. But, uh, you know, when we do, to hang out with them. On a serious note, Jim, I, I know you do a lot of uh, charity work. And uh, there have been times when different people come down to the Joe with uh, different illnesses and you take them under their wing and you know explain to the people out there what it means to you. Well it, it means a lot because I'm so fortunate to be able to do you know what I love and you know I'm so fortunate that I'm healthy to be able to do you know what I love and uh, you know what they're battling with every single day is uh, you know it's nothing to, with uh, compared to what we go through um, you know at some cases you know they're fighting for their life and for us to be able to give you know a couple minutes of our time I think you know everyone in our dressing room should you know do that and I, you know the guys in the dressing room are very good at, at doing that too giving up their time and uh, uh, you know just it brightens up their day and you know you can you can learn from them as well too but uh, you know sometimes we beat ourselves down over there in that dressing room over the smallest things and um, you know to be able to learn from them of not sweating the small stuff and just you know, living every single day to your fullest that, that's that's what I've learned a lot from you know being able to sit down and talk with some of these people. Well put Jimmy Howard thanks a lot for being our guest on our first edition thanks of Coffee Time. Thanks for having me.